Maturing is realizing that not all friendships are meant to last forever. I'm a strong believer that people come into your life for seasons and reasons. There are some people I was friends with in high school that I really thought I was going to be friends with for the rest of my life and we don't speak. And that's okay. You're allowed to outgrow people. I feel like it's so much worse if you try to keep a dead friendship alive. If the spark is not there anymore, just let it die. People will beg God to take them to the next stage in their life, but yet want to stay around the same old people. People who were never good to them in the first place, and it just doesn't make sense. I always tried to hold on to all my friendships, and I realized that that stemmed from a fear of like abandonment and rejection. And then, you know, I came to the realization that I'm really never alone if God is always with me, you know? So I really need people. That's not saying that you should put yourself in complete isolation because it is good for you to be around a good community, people who are pouring into you. You would have told me in high school that I would be surrounded by the people that I have today, my friends, I wouldn't have believed you. Back in the day, I definitely settled for some stuff that I should have never. The people I'm with right now, they would never treat me like the way I, I was treated by certain people in the past. God really turned my situation around. So I really do thank God for all my friends, my family, everything. Everything that he's doing for me right now, it, it would not have been possible without him. And I'm telling you, he's always moving. Even when you think he's not, even if you don't see what he's doing, he's doing it. Your situation is never too messed up. God could change any situation. He could turn anything around for your favor if you just follow him and follow his instructions for you. Nothing is impossible for a miracle working God. Like he could do anything. So who are you to doubt him? Who are you to doubt his plan to say he's not moving fast enough for you? He's always moving. God is a gentleman, you know? So if you don't allow him to work and you want, and you think you can do it yourself, he will let you do it. He'll say, okay, you got it. See what is better, his will or yours. So either sit there and struggle or just let God move. Just let him move and he's moving in your favor. You just always gotta remember that and trust him. Like if you really think about it, us humans, we don't really have that much power. God is the creator of the universe. You think he won't move mountains in your favor? His child, you're his child. You're literally his kid. He loves you and he wants to help you. Just let him help you. Or you can try to do it yourself. I mean, you, you come back and let me know how that goes for you. Cast your burdens on to God and he will never fail you. Men can fail you. You can ask a human for help and they they could let you down but god will never a lot of people will turn away from god because of what people in the church did to them it's a shame that you would let humans people try to take you away from your blessing that god promised you anyways guys this is the fit check yeah confit or whatever i'm on my way to work Big O L. I love y'all, but God loves you more. Bye.